welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to cover checking your iPhone's battery health. So if you've had your iPhone for a while, you might have noticed that it doesn't keep a charge like it used to. You might have to charge it more often throughout the day and you might find that the battery runs down quicker. So there's a quick and easy way to check the health of the battery and see if you actually do need to bring it into the Apple store to have the battery replaced. Unfortunately, you can't do it yourself, so you've got to bring it to a service center or an Apple store to get this done. So the first thing to do is locate your settings app and just tap on that. And when your settings app comes up, you scroll down for a little ways and you'll see this green icon for battery. Just choose that. And this one will take actually a, a minute or so to uh, process the battery usage. And this can give you some good information actually. You can show you for the last 24 hours or also beside there's a tab saying the last two days, what apps have actually uh, been using most of your battery. So you can see here, I've got an app on the top here, CBC News, it's using um, some extra battery. So that's something I could, I could force quit that app to uh, uh, give me a little bit more battery life. But what you wanna do is just tap on the selection here, battery health beta. When you tap on that, you'll get a lot of information about the battery. So it'll tell you the maximum capacity of the battery right now, uh, the peak performance capacity. But what you wanna do is look at this very last paragraph. So if we kinda of zoom in here, you can see it's telling me the overall report on the battery. So it's saying the battery's health is significantly degraded. Uh, so it basically needs a repair. So when you bring it into an Apple store, you won't get any argument from them uh, that the battery does need a replacement. Um, and you'll be able to have that done to replace the battery. So hopefully this helps you. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We're always putting more videos up with helpful tips and tricks around iPhones, iPads, and Macintoshes. And please share this with your friends as well. And we'll see you in the next video. 